Hey guys, a uh, bit of a different video for you today. So I was uh, fishing over in St. Pete trying to catch some uh, sheep's head and uh, that did not go according to plan at all. I just ended up getting hung up on a bunch of rocks, caught one flounder. That was a little undersized. Today, uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Like I said, I didn't get any sheep's head and the one flounder that I got was undersized, but I did catch this thing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is what you call a spot tail pinfish. And actually, they're not too common in Panama City, where I am uh, originally from. But I have heard that they are edible. So I did catch him. It kind of looks like a little sheep's head, so I'll tell you what. Just for sake of uh, trying it, we're going to fillet him out and cook him up and uh, see just how edible they really are. So I've never had one of these before. I've actually never caught one before, but I'm going to flay him pretty much how I would any other fish. Let's see. Yeah, he's kind of neat for how small he is. I'm just going to ride along these bones here, because he's not super big. So I want to make sure I get as much meat as I can. Let's cut through some of those pin bones there. Yeah. Looks like there's this rib cage. I'm just going to glide the knife over those. Don't want any of those. Now you're asking why are you filleting him? Why don't you just head and gun him and save all that meat? And I will answer, I'm lazy and I don't like eating around bones. So that's why I'm filleting him. But I'm filleting him the most painstaking way possible just to make sure I get as much meat off of him as I can. And you can see right there, that's just his ribs and his guts in there. So I don't want any of that. And is that a, what is that? These worms or something? We'll worry about that later. Okay, there's one side done that took longer than I would have hoped, but I've never cleaned these guys, so. Do the same same over here, make an incision. Kinda lightly just touch that backbone as you're going down with the tip of your fillet knife. You're, just, you're not cutting down way too much. You're just giving yourself a guide. You can go back later with the knife and really cut through it. That way you don't miss any of the meat. You hear that sound? That scraping sound? That means you're right, right along that bone there. That's what you want. That's what you want to hear. Take my knife, go right on that side of the rib cage there. I'm gonna make an incision right underneath. I'm just gonna use the knife to scoop that off. And there you go. I'm not sure what that is. A little white spot, but I'll worry about it later. I'll clean it up. Alright, now he's got some pin bones right over here. Just remove that. I'm just gonna make one slash on one side. Another slash on the other side, kind of in a V shape. And then you just pull those bones right out. Now, I don't know, these guys, this it smells pretty strong, I'm just gonna say that. Alright, now to skin. You'll, uh, now these have, these have a thick skin, so that's actually very nice. Um, so you'll just kind of take, make a small incision and just hold that skin tight as you use your fillet knife to just kind of ride down, uh, ride down the rest of the skin and scoop that meat right off, just like that. You can see why they call them a spot tail pinfish. They have a big old spot right at the end of the tail like that. It's, you know, it's a little darker 
than I would have thought these guys would have. So what I think I'm actually going to do, I'm going to cook one, just a little bit of butter, salt and pepper, like I said, just to get the taste of the uh, filet. And we'll see how, uh, see, uh, you know, their flavor profile, see, you know, if they're fishy, if they're mild, the flaky, mushy, firm, and all that. And then on the other filet, uh, I will season it with what I think will best suit it. So, I'll be a little gener generous with the butter there. Who doesn't like butter? All right, we got our pan uh, with our butter in it, nice and hot. I'm just gonna salt. Add some pepper to this spot tail pinfish here. Just lay it down on that and I'll salt the other side too. I'll tell you what guys, the fish smelled pretty uh, pretty strong when I was cleaning it, but now that it's cooking, it actually smells pretty good. All right guys, looks pretty done to me. Let's go ahead and put it on our plate there. It smells pretty good. Flaked off pretty easily. Here we go. It's definitely got a fishier taste than Chief said, but it's pretty good. If you've ever had a Pacific mackerel, it tastes a lot like that. There is definitely a bit of a fishy flavor. It doesn't quite have that sweet, crabby kind of taste that Chief's Head does, but it's definitely edible. Now, um, I don't really know if I'd keep any more of these guys because it's just, it's a lot of work for nothing. I guess if uh, you're not keeping anything else, you know, they're worth a shot. Oh, well now that I'm biting away from the bloodline, actually it's a very mild flavor. I guess that first taste I got was just bloodline because now that is actually very good. That is actually very similar to sheep's head. It's not as sweet, but it's got a very mild kind of buttery flavor to it. The texture is a lot like sheep's head too, those very kind of flaky, soft texture. So actually guys, um, if you catch some big spot tail pinfish, you're not catching anything else, uh, I would actually recommend uh, recommend keeping a few and trying them out. The bloodline is a little bit fishy, but everything around that is actually a very mild, uh, very tasty flavor. I would, I, would, I would definitely eat this again. All right, well now that I've tasted this fish pretty much as plain as it can get, uh, we're gonna blacken this bad boy. So that's what we're gonna do with this spot tail pinfish here. So this other filet, you can see I've covered it with the blackening spices. I've got my butter nice and hot. So we can kind of singe the edges a little bit, kind of a uh, how you blacken fish, you know, the trademark kind of charred look to it. All right guys, that looks pretty cooked to me. Let's go ahead and transfer this over. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is good as almost any blackened fish I have had. So, a great choice if you get a whole bunch of spot tail pin fish aren't catching much else. Uh, why not throw a few in the box? Like I said, they're perfectly edible. They're not that hard to clean. They're certainly easier to clean than a sheep's head. And uh, pretty tasty too. I give these guys uh, a thumbs up.